Hey guys, what is up? And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a 3D intro. So, what you're going to need to do first is come to this website, which I'll leave in the description. It is called Blender. Blender is basically just a 3D animation software, and that's what you use to make intros. You can also use a program called Cinema 4D, but in today vi today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Blender. So, come to the link and choose whichever system you're on for Mac click here 64-bit for Windows click 64 32 depending on what system you have I'm 32 so just click there and it'll start the download I've already downloaded it I promise you it's virus free you can scan it with your software or your uh, whatever you call it your virus scanner or yeah whatever you know what I'm talking about um, and it's safe so come to now WinRA, which is also a link I'll leave in the description. It's basically just a program that will download, oh sorry, sorry, uh, open zip files. And you're going to need that. And it's also very useful for other things. Um, and so download that and close that window. So now you're going to come to YouTube. And yep. And what you're going to need to do is now find these YouTubers who make 3D intros. Two that I would very highly recommend are iFresh HD, something like that. Ifres HD. Um, yep, he makes good ones. And always look out for Blender intro templates. Never look out for like one that says Cinema 4D. So, yeah, so it says Cinema 4D. So never, uh, you can't go on those ones because they won't work with uh, Blender because they're not compatible with Blender. So another one is called Pushed to Insanity. He's another good one. Um, and you're going to find a video on their channels that have, say, or just say Blender intro template. Um, his newest video was a Blender one, so we can go in that one. And I'll, he always leaves like a little, yeah. Yep. So he always leaves like a little uh, intro in the start, so you can see what it actually is going to look like. So if you like it, then what you go into the description of his video you have to download the file and also always favorite the creator one because if you're going to use a so I've already favorited it if you're going to use a intro that someone has made um, you have to credit them there's just you have to so you have to put that in every description if you go in my videos you'll see how it says like oh uh, channel intro channel something like that and uh, yeah so you have to put that there and also even the music which you don't necessarily have to do but just do it because some people like to ask like oh what is the music so yeah so once you've done that click on download and you'll come to a website like this it'll be different for I press HD I think that's how you say his name um, and you probably should know how to use like media file. It's a pretty well known downloading website. Uh, but Push Insanity one, he his looks like this. So just download template, click there, and you'll have to subscribe to him to download one. To be honest, oh, you can just subscribe and then unsubscribe. But I would just subscribe because he's actually pretty good. So. Yep, now all you have to do is just wait for the intro to download. And obviously this depends on how fast your internet is. So yeah, mine isn't super, super fast. But yep, here it is. You'll come to a Mediafire website and you're just going to download that. 
just to click download sometimes you have to do the capture that's not too hard pretty sure we all know how to spell <laughs> pretty sure <laughs> um, and now it's just going to download so it should be pretty quick and once that's done you're going to click on the right hand side here and it'll say show in folder so click on that and then you'll find the folder it's highlighted just drag it onto your desktop I've already got it on my desktop but I'll just move and replace that so you can close the downloads folder and you have a zip file which you're going to use WinRAR to open so that's why you need it so double click on that and depending on what system you have extract one of the files to the desktop so you can even just drag so I have Windows so it's the top one and you just drag it um, yeah that shouldn't happen I just have the same file on the desktop so it should just drag onto the desktop and that'll be done so you can close this file and even put it in the recycling bin and you'll have a file like this so open this and go to the file at the bottom which is the blender file it'll open up blender and it should look at something like this depending on what intro you chose all the intros look pretty similar and they all follow the these guidelines so what you're going to do is you're going to right click on the text click tab and now you're going to backspace and your text should disappear and now you can just write your name in so mine's veteran marxist or write veteran and then click tab again and then right click on the text in front click tab again and backspace and write your name in and there you go so if the text is too big you select the text you want to make bigger or smaller and go to the bit which says F here and not F here but F um, <laughs> and you can just change the size see so and then yep and then once you've done that uh, you can even move the text to the middle of the like intro if it's too long so you hold on the red arrow and you can drag it across without moving it up and down so you don't have to worry about screwing it up then you right click on the other text and put it in the middle of the bigger text like that that's only if it's uh, not in the middle of the intro like the text isn't in the middle it's on the side but that shouldn't be too often uh, so now we're on to the important bit click on the camera here and go to the bit where it says output and change the file location to wherever you want to put it and you can also change the name just make it like intro and I'm going to make it desktop because it's easier click accept here and all you want to do now is choose what type of file you want to make the video when you finish making the intro uh, for Windows users make it MPEG and just keep it like it is for Windows users, uh, sorry for Mac users make it QuickTime and basically all you want to do now is click, go up to here and click render animation or just press Control F12 I've already rendered it and now I will show you what it actually turns out to be this can take uh, time depending on how fast the computer is and um, yes I'll show you it now it'll be like a video file so that's what it looked like and that's um, what you should look like depending on what intro you made and if you followed all the steps it should look like that so anyway thanks for watching don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and this is veteran monkster signing out peace
Thank you.